Greetings. We use the provided map to identify the precise location of the property, which shows a distinct footprint and easily identified neighbor to the east. We made our way to explore this undeveloped lot located in the rural county of Putnam in North Florida. The region of and around Interlochen, Florida is largely covered with sand. The nearby industrial plant Vulcan Industries, located right off nearby Kuka Road, stands as testimonial to the region's rich supply of clean, powdery sand that seems to lie just below the surface of all the relatively newly formed vegetation that along with periodic lakes that were likely formed during an ancient era of glaciation have created pockets of areas high and dry and suitable for habitation. Route 20 is a major artery that connects this Florida community to larger populations to the east and west. When you venture off Route 20 in this region, you are most likely confronted with dirt roads. Only in this region, it is not dirt, but sand. Copious amounts of powdery sand. It is hard to tell how deep the sand layers run around here, but they are deep enough to afford many areas where powdery sand is several feet deep at the surface. The county grades the road surfaces on many of the streets. It is undetermined if they include any spraying of petroleum products over the road surface, but the sand appears to be a darker color than the other croppings of powdery sand that erupt through the vegetation. Upon arrival at the designated lot, we use the conspicuous arrangement of sheds on the adjacent owner's property to the east to verify our location. The easement between the dirt road to the telephone poles transmitting the power seems to be around 15 feet. The utility poles that run along the north side of the lot carry AC power lines only. We stop at the nearby intersection to the west, Frank Street and Himalaya. There is a buried fiber optic cable in this neighborhood that could be used for telephone and other systems. This is the utility pole at that intersection with identifying numbers. This is a neighbor's home on the northwest corner of that intersection. From there, we drive east to reach the northern aspect of the lot as it borders Himalayan. We emerge from the car and prepare to transverse the land. The general vegetation on this lot is less dense than the land bordering the property to the west and south. There are some sizable trees, but none appears to be over 100 years old. The ground is sandy with light brush. As we walk through the land, the sandy floor can be seen among the immediate surface. There is no evidence of the presence of animals, nor intrusion by man. There is no evidence of sinkholes. Your neighbor's property to the east can be seen through the vegetation. We travel further south and enter the vacant lot which borders on your property. It has somewhat denser foliage and some larger trees. Your neighbor to the west can be seen in the distance. There has been some tree work performed here. We emerge from the forest, out to Nova Scotia Street, get our bearings.
Returning to Himalayan Street, we prepare to drive from the property to the first paved road and record continuously as we go eastward towards the intersection of Interlochen Boulevard and Cuckoo Road. The journey will take approximately three and a half minutes. Thank you.